All right, hey guys, uh, Dylan here from Kite Puerto Rico N1 Water Sports. We're at the N1 Surf Shop here in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I have all of the new code foil stuff uh, that just got released. So I want to give you a little overview of what got released. It's not really a secret. There's been a lot of leaks out there. Um, code's been trying to keep it under wraps, and they want they had a release date, uh, which is today. So. Um, I don't know where to get started. Welcome to N1 Surf Shop. What I've got right here is the new 1130S. So this is expanding on the S series. We've got the 720, the 850, the 980, and now we have the 1130. So this is their only foil over a thousand square centimeters, which is crazy. Um, that they launched a brand and have been so successful without a foil that's ranged at, at the, you know, beginner to intermediate. So still not a super beginner foil, but knowing how the 980 and the 850S ride and their low, low speed gradual pickup, I've tried it. A couple of times, not gonna lie, I haven't put it through the ringer yet, but this is gonna be a great foil for those guys that are downwinding in bays, uh, so bay runs, uh, low energy downwinders, which we get a lot of those days here, some dock starting. Um, beginner wingers to intermediates that are you know, already just possibly gonna start their first turns, they can get up on foil already. I would say beginner prone foilers, you know, if you're going to start surfing, uh, you've got a little bit of a surfing background, you want to get into proning for those one to three foot days, this would be perfect. A very gradual uh, pickup on it. So when you're paddling into a wave, you don't like just, you know, blow up. A really good foil for their intermediate um, beginner range and, and downwinders, surfers, uh, wingers that are going in, you know, low speeds, small waves, lighter winds. Um, it's the same, same aspect ratio as all the other uh, S-series. So it's a 9.5. So plenty of glide, really good pump, uh, good carve and turn to it. This 1130S is exciting, but what's really exciting, and there's been a lot of chatter about is the R series, which is this guy right here, 860R, 770R. This 860, which is a shock, has just marginally a easier paddle up than the 980S, which is big, that's a big gap. Nowadays it's really hard to pinpoint and specify on size because, I mean, these are not apples to apples, uh, foil to foil and size to size. So you would think that an 860 is really small, and I did too. I was a little bit apprehensive um, on getting a bunch of these because I wasn't sure who this foil would be for or you know, who was gonna be using this foil because it's, I mean, I didn't even know if I could use this foil. I was thinking an 860. I mean, I'm downwinding the 980S, and I can downwind the 850 in really good conditions, but when it gets a little bit crucial, I'm, I'm pushing myself. So I was really glad to feel that this thing can go slower and glide better than the 980S, which is, cr which is crazy. <laughs> um, just because it doesn't have as much meat on it, it just glides so well. So where you'd come out of you know, you're coming out of a pocket and you want to get to the next section, you can pump to the next section or you could, you know, tap in a couple times and get to the next wave. The R series, you just, you fly off of a, a wave or a section and it just glides and it just keeps gliding and gliding until you hit the next one. So this thing has an amazing, like, speed range. It can go really slow and it can go really fast but really what's important about it is that it stays really well in this sweet spot. So if you're low speed and your top speed 
on an S series is going from, I don't know, 16, 15 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour and the top speed is what I'm, I'm feeling in the range. This thing will sit very happily at 17, 18, 19 and, and, and stay in that range throughout the whole run. So the average speed is greater, which makes your runs faster and a lot easier. Um, because it has a lot less meat on it, it's easier to pump. Um, it, it feels a little bit lighter in the pump. It doesn't have as much grunt to it. This 860, which would appear to be very small, has such a, an amazing low end and good range to it. So I'm, I'm stoked on that because I know that I can get this foil into somebody's hands that already knows how to downwind. I, then again, the S series is a little bit more friendly and easier to handle. It's a lot more stable. If you're a beginner downwinder, 1130, awesome. 980, awesome. Um, if you can handle the 980 and you're gliding and you're doing consistent downwind runs, 860. I mean, this thing will just glide for days. Of course, it's not a surf wing, but you'll be you'll be really happy with how it can carve and, and how much fun you can have on a downwinder with keeping, it's not just like stiff, straight lines. Now, this is the 860. We've got the 770, right? So again, 13 aspect ratio, uh, a little bit smaller than the 860, a little bit faster, same, same profile, uh, just smaller. Um, keeping in mind that that 860 is what James Casey won the M2O uh, race on. So fast throughout the channel, came off foil and was able to almost flat water start it. Started on a tiny little micro bump and be able to finish the race on foil. This thing, again, 770, tiny, um, pops up easier than the, the 850, the really good speed range to it, uh, good low end to it. And then, I mean, take this out in the surf, like good, small, medium waves. And it's a little bit, you know, it's not as snappy in the turns for surfing, but really good glide to it, like you're riding powder, you know, just nice and smooth and buttery. Um, and then for the little bit more advanced, intermediate to advanced uh, downwind foiler, the biggest tail that we had on offer was the 158. So now we've got the 175 and then a 188. So what this does is just expands the range even further, um, making that 1130 paired with a 188 a lot more stable, ease of use. Um, also, what it does, it expands different speed ranges and changes it up from foil to foil. So you can throw a 175 on the 770, for instance. Of course, it's gonna have a little bit more drag to it, but it might add a little bit more grunt to the pump and you know, alter that stall speed slightly. So here in Puerto Rico, we also do a lot of tow-in foiling. Um, and we're towing in when it's a little bit bigger. So six, seven, eight foot plus, you know, up to 15. And towing on the 720 on the small tail would appear to be optimal. Man, it just goes, it goes so fast. <laughs> it's hard to like, you know, carve and get in the pocket and, and you know, you're just like outrunning the wave every single time. So what you can do is if you've got these smaller foils and you feel like you like the speed range, you like the carvability to it, throw a big tail on it, like a 175, uh, 188. And what it'll do is it'll slow it down a little bit. It'll add a bit of lift. You can shim it slightly to, to decrease that, but it'll slow it down. And that way you can still get that nice carve that you want out of that small wing, but stay a little bit more in the pocket uh, on these bigger waves. Now having five different tails on offer, um, with throughout this, all this range, uh, it just gives you a lot to play with uh, depending on your skill level, wave size, speed ranges that you want to go into. Um, 
So really stoked on everything that they've been putting out so far. I want to say thank you to Code Foils for continuing on their range and expanding. And I want to thank you guys for uh, your continued support, all of your orders, and <laughs> your, your patience for this third drop. It's been really anticipated, and we know uh, you're ready to get the foils under your feet. So thank you guys for your orders, your pre-orders, and all your support, the comments, the DMs, your calls. Uh, we love it. If you have not secured your foils yet and you don't have your orders in, please hurry up because these things are going to fly away until I get more in stock. So if you want immediate delivery, uh, contact us now. Call me, uh, email kitepuertorico.gmail.com. Uh, get on our website, kitepuertorico.com. You can WhatsApp us directly from our website, DM on Instagram, Kite Puerto Rico, because these things are not going to last very long here. So if you want yours now, make sure you get in touch with us. Really stoked. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Code. Uh, let's go foiling. Yee!